Hello dear Cancer. Today I am ready and prepared for this reading, with advice, revelations and tarot prophesies for you. I hope you are doing very well. I thank you infinitely for your presence, for your likes, and your beautiful comments. Of course, also for your subscription. It really makes me very happy that you are here, please stay until the end. If you are here it may not be by chance, maybe there is a message that you need to hear right now. Remember that you are the owner of your future, and you are free to make your own decisions. Keep in mind that these messages are general, if they do not resonate with you, let them go. Now let's look at the energies that are developing in different areas of your life, such as love, money, health and family. First, here's the tip of the day, if someone comes back from the past to ask for forgiveness, listen and don't judge. This doesn't mean you should forget, but rather see everything as a closed chapter that will allow you to sleep peacefully. Today you will attend at least one celebration, and therefore meet interesting people with unusual professions, whether it is on television or in the cinema. Expect to hear some bizarre stories, some true and others clearly exaggerated. Apart from all these jokes and stories between friends, you will gain useful information. Take notes on them so you can remember them later. Today you'll reach out for community service. Perhaps you'll donate some time to charity. You'll suddenly realize how many blessings you have, and how many people are in need. Or you'll decide to pay special attention to a family member. Someone may have been under a lot of stress. With a few hugs and an open heart, you'll help them feel better. You have a photographic memory and remember every detail, but today even you can fall for the deceptive energy of the day. Distortion and misinformation are the rule rather than the exception, so pay close attention when making budgets or balance sheets. The numbers you see in your mind so clearly may very well be wrong. Check and double check your work. What happened to you? It seems that you have made a leap from a theory to practice. You, who are generally good at ideas but not so good at carrying them out, are the one working in the trenches today. Although you must admit that it feels good to accomplish something concrete. Today no one will stop you, finish all the tasks one by one. You would have thought that tidying up could be so much fun. Your colleagues, friends or partners may demand a lot from you today. You want to be able to help everyone so much that you'll take on more urgent commitments than you can keep. This can backfire. You're bound to mess up a task and have to do it over again. Slow down, calm down and set priorities. If you don't let your nerves get the better of you, you'll be able to achieve everything you want. Today should be a day to relax, spending time with loved ones. You won't feel like doing anything serious, and that's okay. You need to lighten up and have some fun. Some funny accidents could happen to you today. Nothing dangerous, just funny things. The cat could fall into the toilet or your youngest child could take a bath with a bottle of hair lotion. Whatever happens will make you laugh and help you enjoy the day. Below are your lucky numbers and color for today. But first, I invite you to leave me a like. Your support encourages me to continue with my readings, hoping to help you in your daily life. Your ruling numbers for today are 54 and 66. Try to use them as much as possible, take advantage of them since they will only be with you for today. If you have the opportunity to participate with these numbers in a draw, don't miss the chance to do so. Your lucky color for today is orange. Try to wear some clothing in this color, or you could wear an accessory that contains it, as this will bring luck to your day and it will also make you look incredible. If throughout the day you have to choose something that contains this or another color, do not hesitate to choose the one that contains your lucky color. The planets are perfectly positioned to help you give the touch of renewal that many aspects of your life need. Your home can be an area where you can begin to materialize your desires for change. 
it would be a good idea to explore ways to better manage the energy in your space. Feng Shui, for example, which is the Eastern philosophy of organizing spaces, can help you. The most powerful energy center in your home is you. That is the ultimate teaching of Feng Shui, it is the ancient art of harmonizing the elements of nature and the balance of the various energies in your environment. You should project a similar energy toward emotional or professional aspects that also need more fresh air circulation. In emotional relationships, for example, this wave of change can be especially noticeable. Let the light in, let the air flow and orient yourself toward what feels best for you. You are now beginning to settle into a new phase that has just begun. One of the most important things you must do from today is to recover the social relationships you had on a daily basis. Your friends are missing you, and you may miss them. If the cause of this estrangement is that you are dating someone, do not let it absorb you so much that you do not have time to meet up with your people every day. Find your own space apart from your romance, otherwise this will not work out later and you will be left stranded without a boyfriend and without friends. Right now, the ideal solution is for him to reserve time for his friends individually and you for yours. This breath of freedom will serve to strengthen the ties that unite you on a daily basis. You will achieve your goals and move forward in the achievement of your plans and projects. Expect the best, because the positive energy you put into your affairs will determine the results you obtain, as well as the realization of those plans that have been going around in your head for a few days and that you did not know how they would come to fruition. An unexpected visit arrives with news that will make you very happy. The energy of your ruler in a sign of your same element and compatible with you brings a passionate touch to your intimacy and fills it with intensity and plenitude. Today you will want to take on the world, dear Cancer, especially in aspects linked to your long-term projects and dreams and illusions, which will now be vital for your personal confidence. The sun is transiting your second house, in its domicile sign on this day, which makes it a truly profitable and fortunate day in regards to your personal confidence. Reinforcing your self-esteem and your worth will be essential for your spirit. The moon, also, being your natural ruler, is transiting your eleventh house, in aspect with Saturn and also with Venus, which makes it an exciting and enthusiastic day especially in regards to strengthening commitments, your relationship as a couple, or projecting future plans and personal stability at home, which will now reinforce your personal confidence. In terms of health, at a time when energies are pushing you to organize your life, your space, your relationships or your profession, your body and your health must be in balance. To do this, you need to adopt a positive attitude towards the benefits that you can bring to your health. Try a selection of foods that provide you with what you need. Go through your entire dinner with the same devotion with which you sometimes go through your cupboard. Find all the processed products that you no longer need, say goodbye to packaged sauces, packet soups that have a lot of salt, frozen lasagnas, ice creams. Well, you don't have to throw them away, but perhaps putting a label on them saying for very occasionally can be useful. Start organizing your pantry with natural, organic, fresh and seasonal products that allow you to make a healthy and balanced menu. Exercise routines must accompany you so that the planetary energy flows and helps you adapt to the moment of transformation. In terms of work, Rearranging your workspace will bring you important benefits. It is not just an aesthetic issue, but it has to do with the opportunity it will give you to review in detail everything you do, the way you work and even your behavior with others, which is always good of course, but today you may give it a different or more positive value. The conclusions you draw from all this will depend on you, but what is certain is that with order in your outlook you can better assess where you are where you want to go and how you can do it. In the midst of this process of change, some things may improve in concrete terms, surely in the form of new income, some bonus or loan from the company itself. It is something perhaps not very significant, 
but it never hurts and it also encourages. For those who are looking for work, a glorious time is coming for you. You are going to feel very good, very attached to the idea of finding something new, with a lot of serenity in the search process, without any type of problem or burden that makes things not go so well. Quite the opposite, you will feel truly prepared for what is to come. In the financial aspect, the monetary state of your business, if you have one, is going through a somewhat turbulent time. There are some accumulated debts and there is no serious payment plan in the short term. You are going to have to work hard to project reliability. You may not have your money now, but you can present a viable plan that explains to your creditors how you are going to deal with this. In the case of some of your sign, not all people of your sign are going to go into debt, far from it, but those who already have some are a starting point, and those who do not have it, well, it is a point of growth. In this period you are going to test your negotiation skills and project conviction to those around you. It is a good example for you to exercise as the leader that you are. The same thing happens with domestic economy. Speaking of domestic economy, well, you may discover that you can save a little here and a little there. The truth is that you are going to notice how everything balances out and nothing is destabilized. In terms of love, you need to adjust some ideas and attitudes that you may have as a couple, both you towards your partner and your partner towards you. It may be time to talk more clearly, without arguing, about the things you don't like, the things that don't do you any good and the things you do like, in order to highlight the positive. If you are a long-term couple, although time can play against you, it can also play in your favor. It is the way to get to know each other. It should not be an obstacle to talk frankly about what is happening and to propose all the necessary alternatives if there are problems with the division of household chores or with family expenses. These should be discussed peacefully and at the right time to avoid accumulating discomfort. If you are single, although the first few months guarantee a spectacular result in any relationship, as you get to know each other, voices and differences may arise. For those who are just starting a relationship or those who are still single, don't worry so much about looking for perfection in the other person and accept your own flaws as naturally as you usually do. This can lead to a couple that understands each other, grows together and learns from life together. As for your energy, it is in a medium state. You are living in a time of deep internal transformation, a bit existentialist, and that can leave you in a state of significant exhaustion. Focus all your strength on what the planets are best aspected to in order to take advantage of that current and not waste energy. Luckily, in this, you are a very intelligent sign, very shrewd and with a wonderful wit that you even apply to yourself. So, as soon as you notice tiredness or the feeling that you are thinking too much about things, you will probably stop and analyze it calmly if you have to analyze something. The positive situation that you have to enhance today is the whole cosmic climate that surrounds you and that drives you to do a general cleaning in your most important vital areas, from space, body, soul, finances, the way you behave with others and the way others behave with you. Because it is very good to be self-critical, but it is also important to know why we behave the way we behave, and it is also based on how others have behaved with us in the past. On the negative side, be careful because if you waste the opportunity or you only stay on the surface, you may not be able to arrange things the way you want, especially in matters such as projects, bureaucracy, paperwork, things like that. Maybe deadlines are running out and you have to do it as soon as possible. Also be careful about spending time, in some way, excuse the redundancy, wasting time and wiping things over. As the metaphor says, cleaning, tidying and purifying are not exactly the same thing. These are things that come from deep within, from the full conviction of wanting to do it, and this also includes leaving behind people you thought were friends. Many times we keep people in our agenda or in our contacts, or we meet up with those people because we don't dare to say stop, 
and it is very healthy to consciously choose the people who bring us things. Also be careful in reverse, be prepared for not everyone to like us and for there to be people who don't want to meet up with us and eliminate us from their lives because perhaps we don't bring that to them. We always talk about how people have to bring something to us, but we also have to bring something to others, and maybe that doesn't fit with the energy that that person is experiencing at that moment. So you have to be prepared for something positive and also for positive rejection. Assume that everything flows and everything fits together, but starting from yourself. For students, during the course, ups and downs in your mood may have been the order of the day. It is important that you try to balance yourself and maintain a certain consistency or frequency in your ways of studying to achieve the results you want. You, in this, are going to be very practical and you are not going to complicate your life. So, congratulations. And now, as for compatibility, today you have a wonderful day with these three signs. Firstly, with people of the sign of Libra, you have a sensational day, with a very noble, active and happy attitude. You feel really good. Secondly, with people of the sign of Virgo, you have a lovely day too, with a wonderful harmony to coincide in many subjects and situations that make everything go fantastically. And thirdly, with people of the sign of Gemini, you feel that things flow, that everything fits, that everything is in its place and in its order. Dear Cancer, this was your reading for today, as always, thank you so much for being here with me. Remember that the purpose of our predictions is to guide you, so that you can make more appropriate and correct decisions based on them. If you like these sessions, click on that like button, you can also subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss the daily predictions. I hope you have a day full of positive manifestations. A big kiss to everyone.